All right, the results are in and your hard work is finally paid off. The next phase of your life is about to begin. The college life starts now. Hi everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm a third year MBBS student at Government Medical College, Nagpur. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll be talking about what all things you need to buy before college, what are the things you should be prepared for while in college, and of course, how you can make your college life very, very smooth. Without any further ado, let's go. So if you're a med student, the signature of your existence is an apron. So as you can see, this is my apron right over here. And by, by this apron, people are going to recognize that it is you and they will give you respect. Uh, so one thing I want to point out is that respect this piece of cloth, right? This is not just a white piece of cloth. It's so much more. You've put so much heart and effort into getting this white piece of cloth, right? Don't ever disrespect it. All right. So where do you get an apron? You get it usually from the college shops, but you can also buy it from the outside. You can also have engravings of your college name, of your own name. Depends on which college or university you're enrolled in. I recommend buying at least two aprons in the starting because you're going to need to shift a lot between the weeks and there's going to happen that one of your aprons gets spoiled initially in the first two or three months. So you definitely need to buy another one so start with two aprons it's going to be more than enough for all your practicals and if you're in hostel i definitely recommend at least three aprons so that you don't have to worry about washing the apron and pressing it so that you always have some spares available now actually there are two types of apron one is the full length one and the other one is the one which i usually wear it is the one which resembles a t-shirt what i've seen is that usually the pg the postgraduate residents are going to be wearing the full length ones whereas the students are going to be wearing the half length one of course it depends upon which college you're placed right the next most important topic is a stethoscope right guys everybody's excited to get this piece of jewelry that is the stethoscope because it does not represent just this tool it represents a doctor it is the symbol for a doctor right so the thing is first of all you don't need Litman in first year I know we are all excited to get this Litman stethoscope this is not mine this is my father's I don't see any need to use this stethoscope in first year practice on microtone or practice on any different stethoscope which is of low budget because Litman is going to cost you uh, anywhere around 10,000 12,000 depending on where you're going to be buying etc so for all the first year students my recommendation is a microtone stethoscope because if your parents gift you a Litman stethoscope don't refuse it but you don't actually need one in first year so don't waste your money 10 or 12,000 rupees just buying a stethoscope so where do we buy this equipment uh, the stethoscope you can buy it in any medical shop or you can order it online it should cost around six to seven hundred depending on which brand you buy right the next thing is scrubs what is scrubs so scrubs is called as an OT dress which you go ahead in the operation theater. So for all practical purposes in first year MBBS, you're not going to be going in the OT uh, because in first year, you're going to be learning about physiology, anatomy and biochemistry and not about surgery or orthopedics, or gynecology, etc. So no OT for you guys. So in first year, you do not need an OT dress, right? That's if you're a second year student watching this, definitely you need one because your posting is going to be starting and you're going to be going in the OT regularly. Next thing is a BP apparatus. What is it called? It's called a spigmo manometer. It is used to measure the blood pressure. So your blood pressure practicals are going to be starting in first year itself in physiology and it's going to continue in every single year in literally every single case that you're going to take one of the vital parameters is blood pressure so buy a spigma manometer and practice taking bp many many times because that is something which is very basic and still many people don't know how to do it right the next thing is the bone set so what is a bone set a bone set is a collection of bones and this is required to study anatomy in first year because in anatomy you're going to be studying literally every single bone of the human body every single muscle ligament and everything about the human body so you need a bone set to uh, understand and get to know about the bones so where do we buy this bone set from you buy it from the senior or you buy it from amazon people can't usually sell real bones on online websites so in amazon you're going to be finding the plastic ones but if you're getting it from a senior it might as well be a real one the things to consider while before buying a bone set is first of all is it bilateral or unilateral second thing whether it has a skull and a sacrum because those are the things which are only one in number and if you're buying a unilateral set then it might be difficult to get your hands on those what happens is that in the end no matter which bone set you buy just make sure that you read anatomy because otherwise no matter how good your bone set is you won't understand anything you can see this is my bone set and i named my bone set as david because i like to give names to things and uh, this is the skull and you can see I've placed it in different videos of my channel, of course. If it's a bilateral bone set, it'll cost you around 10,000 because uh, I bought it from a senior from 10,000 rupees. Right, the next most important thing is the clothes. So whenever you're going to college, you feel like you're going to have this vibe. You're going to wear the leather jackets, you're going to ride a bike. That's not the reality in first year MBBS, my friends. The reality is that most of the colleges in India, in fact, uh, in Maharashtra, I'd say 90% of the colleges, uh, in first year MBBS, you're not allowed to wear any sort of fancy clothes. You're not allowed to wear jeans. You're not allowed to wear t-shirts and you're not allowed to wear sports shoes. So so this is the attire of a first year student. You can see uh, there's a formal pant, there's a formal shirt and there's an apron, there are formal shoes and you have to be clean shaved absolutely. You don't have to have long hair. If you are in AFMC, they have got a separate uniform for their entire candidates. So that's the thing. Don't invest in clothes which you're not going to wear. Of course in hostels you have to get to wear your casual clothes but whenever you're in the college, there's no need to wear it. And now people ask me why, why is the reason, why is this being done? So the thing is guys, when you're becoming a doctor, when you are starting on a medical journey, you, there's some ethics, there's some etiquettes. A doctor 
doctor has a particular appearance that has special characteristics to a person the doctor is not an ordinary person a doctor has the ability to save someone's life so it's a pretty big deal and you have to learn how to behave like a doctor how to dress like a doctor so all of these are things which you got going to find in medical colleges so make sure that you don't buy any unnecessary clothes in the starting just go ahead talk to your seniors talk about what the dress code is and buy the clothes accordingly if you're a girl uh, then i think the it is called a kurti salwar kurti i think i don't exactly know the nomenclature so i think it's a salwar kurti uh, that you guys have to wear or girls have to wear actually <laughs> right so those were the essential things now comes the sort of non essential things that you may or may not want to buy but in my opinion everyone should have so the number one most important criteria that you need to consider over here is that getting a good mobile phone because every single update every single photo you're going to take every single time a call you're going to be picking up that's all going to happen around your mobile phone it should have a good battery life it should have a very good camera buy a good phone that will last you around 5 years and you can use it through and through right the next most important thing is getting yourself a good pair of headphones or earphones whichever ones you prefer i personally prefer headphones the reason is because i don't like to put things in my external auditory canal i want it to be over my ear so this is an over ear headphone and this is from bot it does sound very nice and i definitely recommend these ones for anybody who is willing to buy them the next thing that you're going to need in college is a good speaker because whenever you are in group activities whenever you are let's say decorating the hall for ganesh festival celebration or decorating something else because you are the one who is placed in decoration group because you lack any sort of other skills in life but anyways this speaker really has socialize just keep the speaker and everybody will gather around it people like to hear songs right so the next most important thing is about the ipad and this my friends is an essential for your college get yourself an ipad because this is the device that's going to change your life completely because the reason is instead of buying a lot of books which are very very expensive you can go ahead import these books into your ipad and read from there plus what i've noticed is that if you use an ipad you don't have any sort of eye strain even after using it for 8 to 10 hours every single day that's what i've experienced practically for using it for almost 3 years now a must thing to have with the ipad is this apple pencil and the reason is that this apple pencil is the one which unlocks the ipad you can write you can draw using the apple pencil and uh, you can read and highlight the books another important thing is that with the ipad you get a bigger screen to watch the videos that you might have purchased such as maro such as kenna any anything that you might have purchased this gives you a bigger screen to watch them it gives you a bigger screen to record your notes record your ideas it also gives you the ability to create content because it also is a very powerful chip inside the ipad which helps you edit videos make photos etc by anyone that fits your budget but my recommendation would be to go with the ipad air you buy a second generation apple pencil and you should be good to go there are other tablets as well but the longevity of the ipad is you know much more than any other tablets in the market that basically means if you have this ipad in first year it's probably going to be remaining the same till like your final year of mbbs The only thing to consider is that buy an iPad with a storage of at least 128 GB or more. It will get filled up with you downloading and watching all the video lectures. Next, if you're a content creator on YouTube and you're going to medical school, I would recommend a MacBook because that is the best laptop money can buy. I have got a MacBook and it does help a lot. Uh, it is very very light. It's got the best battery life in the world, and it will also help you get into freelancing stuff. If you're good at building websites, if you're good at making your business a start, if you're good at basically anything, a laptop will increase your ability. Right. The next thing is pretty expensive and it is also kind of useful, uh, and you should. consider getting that in second year of mbbs uh, that is a vehicle to translocate a vehicle to go around here and there and usually that's a scooter bike whatever you want a car okay let's talk about the academics part little bit over here so i've made an entire video explaining which books you should buy in first year mbbs is actually one of the most popular videos on my channel you should definitely watch that after this one but in short so these are the books that you need the first subject is biochemistry and you can see the book is satyanarayan the other book that you should buy with it is rebecca james otherwise you can skip satyanarayan rebecca james and buy vasudevan what i would recommend is vasudevan for every single student who is in first year next thing anatomy so the best book of anatomy is this this is not this actually so the best book for anatomy is this this is gray's anatomy it's got the best diagrams in the world and it is fairly easy to read the student edition the southeast asian edition is pretty easy to read and i recommend you this book but if you don't have the money to buy this one definitely import it into your ipad and read it over there i recommend this book for every student who is reading anatomy it builds your anatomy concepts from the core and you will never ever do an mcq wrong or do a viva question wrong if you have read gray's anatomy of course the one which you're going to be using the most is this bd chaurasia this is the most important book for anatomy in india the reason is it's got everything in points the exact way like we are used to having uh, since our childhood because we want everything spoon fed right bd chaurasia is a 100% book to have for anatomy if you want to pass your university examinations if you want to pass anything because this is the book that you're going to be studying it from so this is my recommendation of course there are other books as well Grey's Anatomy a must read not a must have a must read because that's going to strengthen your core concepts the last subject in first year mbbs is physiology 
Right. So this is physiology, and the book that I recommend is this. This is Guyton and Hall, and this is the most famous book of physiology that people use. And it's also very, very conceptual. It's got everything that you need to know about physiology. So Guyton and Hall must must read for all the students. If you can't wrap your head around this book, I would suggest going with A K J N because that's also a good book. That basically does with all the books, all the subjects of first year MBBS. And now let's talk about the notebooks which you should buy. at least one notebook you should have be having that is the mistake book which in which you will record all your mistakes that is the mcq that you are doing wrong this is my mistake book and you really like the binding which is something like this and it is also got different segments so as you can see the book is segmented from here so what it helps you is that you can segregate different subjects whenever you're solving a question bank if you get that particular subject wrong you can write it down in your own mistake book so make one mistake book for every single year of medical school so first second third fourth and buying something like this will be just more than enough because of course the divisions are already present in this one apart from that you will need at least one copy per subject to record all of your classes write down all the lecture notes in your copy the next thing is a subscription of kenhub would be really really essential for you they're actually a site dedicated for teaching anatomy and anatomy is the most difficult subject of first year what they've done is that they've got all the 3d diagrams they've got a fun and interesting way to tell about a part of anatomy through their videos and they are very very clinically oriented you can use my link and get a 50% off on any plans of can gonna cost you less than 900 rupees per month and it is very very effective so go ahead with the kind of subscription right the last thing of this video is what should you do pre college so pre college first of all study up watch the different lectures etc second i've got an entire playlist that is welcome to med school on my channel make sure that you go ahead watch every single video of that playlist because it's going to make your life so much easy next thing is that spend some time with your family and friends because most likely you're going to leave them and leave the place that you were born and go into some different place for studies and most likely never come back after you left the house lastly embrace that this is an experience which you're going to be having and it's going to be filled with so much fun so much laughter so much joy and sometimes bits of sadness bits of regret but it's honestly okay because medical school is the best course in the entire world and it's going to give you so many things in life uh, i can't even begin to describe make sure that you start your journey of becoming a doctor with a mindset that is positive and go into the course with no fear but only excitement anyways if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please consider doing so because i make videos such as this one and of course please make sure to view that playlist before you go all the links are in the description please smash the like button if you like the video and thanks a lot for watching it's your manoj i'll catch you in the next one bye